karambit. So when we, when we create any sort of cutting action with the karambit, we have one of two primary attacks with the blade. It's either going to be a tip, stabbing spike, or a slice. So we're going to start off with the slice. So as we've said before, when we create a cut, it's really to create what's termed an avulsion, which is a kind of a snow plowing deep rip inside the body. And the blade, depending on the curvature, but they're all fundamentally the same in that they're designed to kind of carry the, the, the knife into the body. So it's not uncommon that you'll pierce at the beginning and then as you start to stab, it will ride up the blade a little bit and now start to drag. So at the beginning it's a bit cleaner and then by the time you get mid-cut it starts to get rough, there's a lot of resistance, and near the end you need to kind of rip up. So You don't want to go in on too deep an angle and then try to pull. It's really a, a small penetration and coming back. So key is to have A, delivery from the hips, and B, we want to make sure the arm is stable. If I throw the arm out full like this, there's a very good chance you're going to pierce, but you're going to get jammed inside. So at the beginning, what we're going to do to cultivate it is we're going to have our partner grab our wrist as hard as possible. And what I want to see is that I load up my arm so it's fairly strong. I turn my blade on a horizontal axis, and I'm going to not only deliver from the hip. I don't want to spin and leave my hand behind. I want to imagine there's like a stick between my hip and my wrist. So if my hip moves, my wrist pushes. And at the same time, because I'm also looking at the escape, I'm going to lever forward with the elbow to get that kind of a deep flicking ripping action, which will be the exact kind of energy I want when I cut. I don't want to only cut from the bicep. I want to cut with a little bit of elbow push. So he'll grab fairly hard. My body will be stable. I push, and as my hip pushes, the blade pushes, and then I rotate and I drive my elbow forward. Back and forth, changing as you wish. Okay, so we're going to take our time, guys, on this one, but this is the idea. I want to start developing cross action with my arm, and there's going to be a lot of applications. There's going to be counter hitting, there's going to be loading the elasticity in the body, there's going to be checking the arm as I pass. So to develop the skill, he's going to be grabbing me nice and hard. Is that all you got? <laughs> and uh, I want to make sure the same thing. So my hand is, it's full but it's not overly tense. It is my hip leading the hand, my elbow coming forward, that's the basis of it. But my second hand now is going to cross check and come up. So it doesn't matter if my second hand does this, it glances off, splashes off his body. If it goes deeper, I gotta make sure that I'm clearing hard, so I don't wanna get stuck and jammed with force. I'm slapping through like this to come through. So it's uh, a little raw on the arm. Yeah. I wanna make sure I'm not getting close to the blade. It's forgivable now if I hit myself, but I'm trying to come up right here, right? So right through like that. Easy breezy. You gonna love it. It's gonna be the inverse farmer can. You gotta leave my arm behind. So I'm pushing through with the arm. Two, my elbow has to come into the, that kind of a red, so that when I cut, it's got a, that kind of an extraction. But three, at the same time, I'm bringing this up through him like that. As it gets better, I can go cut, I come down lower here, like a chopping cuff. What's the hand for? The hand is to, if, if it's a grip fight, it's to facilitate getting rid of it. The hand is, the hand later on will be for addressing arms when I come through for boxing, and the hand at the latest point will be for counter cutting. So if I'm cutting in and I get stuck, I drive through with the other hand, I'll rip it up. Maybe 72, baby. If I come in on a normal wrist grip, I usually will prioritize hack scoop like this, chopping to a scoop. But if it's in reverse, I will usually go top fingers and I will focus this way. So grab tight. So I'm going to scoop up kind of in a scarecrow as I pull like that, because I just want to clear it off, right? So it becomes fall, 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 right? So watch, if it's inverse, same thing, diagonal grip, I, if I, I can jam the elbow like this, so I stop it from elongating, and then I elongate through, or I can come under, high form under the elbow, and think of screwing it over. So I'm there, and I come up like that. So it's either trying to do this, or trying to do this, right, above on a diagonal, under on a 
little four. Make sense? So you can play with it, even on the straight grip. Right, so here, if you start to play, not so much a chop, it's always a chop into a grab, like that, or if it's inverse, right, he's already offering that bend. So if I go here, it doesn't do much. I just end up being concave. So I have to kind of scoop like that to the three. And it's different ways of hitting the head, scooping the head, hitting the body, hitting the leg, hitting, to give you count. Does that make sense?